Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Leaf Lumber Baseball. Five box uh, break number four. It's a random number block break, so all five boxes will be subject to these rules right here. Some very nice stuff. Just four really nice cards per box. A lot of game use stuff. A lot of, lot of cool things here. Big thanks to Ed, Martin, Greg, and Billy for getting in on this one. There are the numbers right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a three, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Martin down to Ed. Four and a three, seven times for the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Eight down to one. All right, Martin with eight, Greg with five, Martin with nine, seven, four, three, Ed with zero. So you'll get any and all redemptions. I don't think there's, I haven't seen too many of those, but just got to say that just in case, including one of one redemptions. But Ed, you still got one, so your bases are covered. Martin with six, Billy with two. Sort by column A, or column B, that is. So these are ordered numerically. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the uh, half case break. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back. No deals are done. Generally, number deals don't, don't happen too often. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Remember, I marked these boxes four so we know they're from the same case. Good luck. Home run kings, Johnny Bench on one side, Dick Allen on the other side. Six out of nine. Your 1972 home run kings. That'll go to number six, that'll go to Martin. Four out of eight, game use lumber, Ronald Acuna. Nice, it's Martin with the number four. Your 1984 home run kings. It's one out of two. A train whistle. Dale Murphy, Tony Armas. Dale had 36. Uh, probably for the Braves, right, in 84. Tony Armas had 43 home runs. Ed with the number one. Ed. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Ooh, dual relic, dual auto. Rhino and Sammy Sosa. Four out of five, another train whistle. This time for Martin. Nice. Martin, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Like you don't, you don't see Sammy Sosa's autograph too often, right? That's right, yeah, back then, Kevin, 36 homers, that could get you a batting, a home run title. Which I guess still is a lot these days, but I feel a, a lot more people hit 30, 30 plus homers now. Just seems to be more common. Another train whistle, one out of two, Harmon Killebrew, Willie McCovey, your 1969 AL and NL MVPs. Number one, Ed. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo. I hope you're 
Hope you enjoy this piece of history. That's really nice. Five out of 15. Billy Williams, game used lumber. It's for Greg, number five. I like this. These are cool. Lumber Team 8, 1 out of 25. That's for you, Ed. That's Albert Pujols, Lou Brock, Ozzy Smith, Keith Hernandez, Stan Musial, Ted Simmons, Kurt Flood, and Orlando Cepeda. Are these all Cardinals? Is Keith Hernandez a Cardinal? There you go. And another Rhino. The Exemplars. Relic and autograph. I don't think these are numbered. No, so we'll one person in the break will get this. So we'll re-randomize your names and we'll see who gets it. So this will be number one on the randomizer. The name on top will get it. Just in case there's another non-numbered card. And then the, uh, if there's another non-numbered card, this, that second one will go to spot two, so on and so forth. Was he really? I did not remember that, Oliver. Oliver's re reminding me, hey, Keith Hernandez was a card before he was a Met. We got home run kings, Barry Bonds with 73. And Alex Rodriguez with 52, 17 out of 30. That goes to Martin and the number seven. Mickey Tettleton, game used lumber. Goes to number zero, It'll be for Ed. We got some stat bats here, at bats per home run. Going to Ed, one out of 20. Juan Gonzalez, Dave Kingman, Mickey Mantle, A-Rod, Mike Schmidt, and Jose Canseco. And one out of two. More Cardinals edition of Keith Hernandez, Lonnie Smith, and Ozzy Smith, bat rack three. Ed, another train whistle for you. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Love those triples, those look cool too. Saw an auto on the bottom. Don't know who it was, but we'll find out. Eric Davis, game use lumber, four out of 40. Martin with four. I'm a man, I'm 40. <laughs> 11 out of 30, Dave Winfield, game use lumber. Going to add in the number one. We got Lumber Team 8, 3 out of 6. That's going to go to Martin and the number 3. Johnny Bench, Joe Morgan, Joey Votto, Barry Larkin, Pete Rose, Tony Perez, Frank Robinson, Eric Davis. Red Legs. And out of 3, it's Signature Sticks. Orlando Cepeda, piece of his lumber and his autograph. And for last spot, Mojo, Billy with the number two. Two out of three and a train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. 
Wubu. I might lose my voice before the night is out with all these train whistles. All right, final box, fifth and final. Wow, another train whistle on top. Two out of two, another one for Billy, Rod Carew. Weapons of mass production. Couple pieces of his lumber. There you go, Billy. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Got Al Rosen. 10 out of 30. Goes to Ed in number zero. And we've got some Hit Kings here. 9 out of 30. Paul Molitor, Mark Grace, Marquise Grissom, Kirby Puckett. And then Lenny Dykstra, Roberto Alomar, Kenny Lofton, and Barry Bonds. Ooh, and a cut auto here? And that'll go to number nine. That's going to go to Martin. And the last one here is a Jocko Conlin. 12 out of 25. Lumber Marks. I'll be honest with you. This goes to uh, Billy. I have no idea who Jock Jocko Conlin is. So let's look him up. Oh, he's a he's a Hall of Fame umpire. John Bertrand Jocko Conlin, born in December of 1899, died in 1989 was an American baseball umpire, worked the National League from 41 to 65. He had a brief career as an outfielder with the White Sox before entering umpiring. He umpired in five World Series, six All-Star games, and got into the Hall of Fame in 1974 by the Veterans Committee. There you go. Well, I actually, uh, Oliver, I do remember a good, a good Jocko Conlon story. Obviously... I grew up watching Jocko Conlon at, at games. I distinctly remember there was a uh, an incident between him and Leo DeRocher. Remember Leo DeRocher? Yeah, there was a game. I remember watching this uh, this game in April of 1961, and him, Jocko, and Leo DeRocher were arguing. You know, Leo DeRocher was arguing with Conlon, the umpire, after he'd already been ejected from the game. DeRocher tried to kick dirt on Conlon's shoes, but then slipped and accidentally kicked Colin, Conlon in the shins. Kicked old Jocko in the shins. Now, striking an umpire is a serious offense, but Conlon kicked him right back. Man, that was a moment. What a moment. He's wearing shin guard, so it wasn't gonna, it, it wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna hurt him. So there you go, there you go. So good old Jocko stories. We got all of that for you, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got to give away this uh, non-numbered rhino, rhinoceros. So let's go back over here. Let's go, oh, whoops. Nothing to see there. That Jocko story was, was just from my own memory, not from that Wikipedia page. Um, let's grab all the names. Name on top, we'll get a uh, rhinoceros. Let's roll it, randomize it. Snake Eyes, easy, two times. Name on top after two. One, two, Martin, Rhino. So a rhinoceros going your way. Not numbered here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. we got more baseball on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.